Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pop Preview. I'm Sean. I'm Alex. And today we're watching Shazam trailer number two. Yeah, I feel like it was like starting to get like, okay, are they gonna release it's, another trailer? Like, like I feel like we were waiting and waiting and waiting. Like they got to. It's been a long time. Yeah. Curious about the decision to wait this long to release trailer number two, but we it have is it. what it is. Here yeah, we, we have are. it now. So. Um, so as we're shooting this, uh, some of the early reviews are coming in, and it's oh. really, really positive. Some people are saying that it's the best uh, DCEU or whatever they're calling it movie that's come out. So I'm not surprised. Hearing that, now seeing the second trailer, I'm really, I'm really starting to get excited to see Shazam. Yeah, I think they tonally they made the right choice, uh, making it a little more humorous. Yeah. And uh, a little silly. I mean, the concept itself is like a little silly. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that that's the right way to sort of approach it because the dark the dark universe stuff that they're doing isn't really well it would have been odd to take that approach with Shazam like well yeah dark of course <laughs> Sh Shazam yeah but they could have chosen to do like another Batman movie or something and yeah I mean I'm just I'm glad that we're getting something a little more light hearted well don't get me wrong I, I still want to see Batman and I, <laughs> I don't I still want that but it's nice to see trying something new what I've done Shazam this early Probably not, but that's a decision that they made, and we just have to embrace it at this point. But um, I'm just curious to see the trailer. Let's just let's just watch it. Okay, cool. See what we think. Daily bats. I choose you as a champion. Say my name so my powers will become yours. Shazam. Wait for real. Say the key. Right? What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude? I don't even know how to pee in this thing. This is proof of authenticity. Super strength. Electricity manipulation. Hyper speed. I'd like to purchase some of your finest beer, please. Captain Sparkle Fingers. No, it's not. It's not my. That's not my name. The chosen one. Oh, you're like a bad guy, right? You literally did the opposite of what a superhero is supposed to do. You're him. You're the hero. You're welcome for not getting robbed. My bad man. Get him back in. How old are you? Basically, fifteen. Electrocuted a bus and almost killed these people. And then I caught it! And leave tall buildings in a single bound. <laughs> that's, that's pretty that's pretty funny. good. Yeah. Um okay, so we saw a lot more like set pieces, like action yeah. set pieces. Uh thing with the bus at the end, uh a couple of shots of him fighting the villain, yeah. who apparently also has some sort of lightning. Yeah, well, the, the villain was supposed to be Black Adam, who is Black this Adam. true uh, nemesis who's supposed to be played by uh, The Rock. Okay. But eventually, now he's going to get his own movie, apparently. We'll see if that ever materializes. But um, a lot of people have been comparing it to, like, Big with Tom Hanks, but with <laughs> superhero power. So, like, if it's like that, yeah, and it kind of, from what we see in the first trailer and this, it kind of does feel like that. Like, imagine, really, a kid getting superpowers when you're, like, he's, like, 15. Like, imagine actually doing that. Yeah. You would be doing a lot of dumb stuff that they're doing, like buying <laughs> beer and things like that. And we saw in the first trailer, like, charging people's phones and stuff Use like that. Use your power for good. Exactly. Or just, like, <laughs> well, eventually do good, but eventually you're just going to be goofing around and you don't know what the hell to do. Like, they're testing it out. Yeah. So we get a little bit of the superhero origin story type thing, but from a kid point of view. And I, that's really refreshing. You haven't seen anything like that. That's true. So... 
I'm 100% on board, like, hurry up and release the tickets already so I can buy it. Yeah, um, the only thing I was hoping to get from this trailer is just a little bit more of the plot, outside of the fact that obviously it's a kid who becomes a superhero, I get that, that's been established. Yeah. But I want to know kind of what happens, like, what is the threat exactly? We see this villain, I don't know anything about him, because I don't follow along with this comic book world or whatever, yeah. so I wish that I would have seen that in this trailer to get a sense of like, oh, this is the kind of existential crisis he has to deal with this is the the bad I, and i see him i get it he looks like a dangerous guy but kind of what why why is this guy here you well, know what i mean i, I wish that would have been in this trailer i did i still feel a little bit like it was the same sort of stuff just in a different order true or, you know a what little I mean? bit a little bit but maybe maybe because we don't know we haven't seen the movie yet maybe it's kind of dc fans don't hate me it's just that I think maybe they might take a Marvel approach in the sense that this movie is really to prop up the hero and the villain is just something that he has to overcome. Well, no, so but there still, have, there still has to be a plot. No, 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 of course, of course, That's of course. what I'm saying. I of want course. there to be... I wanted to have a hint of what the plot is going to be. But maybe, but maybe the whole movie is just literally him just coming... figuring it out. Like, it's... I hope not. <laughs> no, I mean... Because there has to be a story. No, of that, course, of that, course. That's what I want. <laughs> just him, like... Overcoming his self doubt and like figuring out the like, because it's not easy being a hero. It really isn't. Like Sean would know. Well, I'm not a hero, but <laughs> if I had powers, like you would start doing things like selfishly, and then just like no, you have to look out for others. And maybe maybe it's just most or less him just coming to grips with that. Yeah. Because like you like in the trailer, we're like, dude, you saved the like you. He's like, dude, I saved everybody. Like, yeah, but you almost killed everybody too. <laughs> so it's like coming to. The grips with that maybe is a lot of the story, maybe not all of it. I agree there has to be other parts to it. But, like, literally, if it's just big with um, superhero powers, and in the movie Big, they're just he's literally just figuring out how to... Uh, a kid dealing with um, how to be an adult's world and coming to grips with how that works, I'm okay with that. If that's what it is, I'm okay with that. Well, then there's no story there, really. Well, it would just be scene after scene after scene of this. So there, there still has to be a plot, Sean. <laughs> no, I, again, I, I, what was the plot of Big? I, I, I don't remember. I saw that like when I was like twelve, so I don't remember. Well, he, he <laughs> you know, he wishes to. He's a kid and he wishes to be big, and then he, she trying that's, to figure out. That's the concept. That's not what the story is. Though. Well, it's him trying to, you know, because some, like something has to happen in that movie, right? Like, yeah, it does. Doesn't, doesn't he have to do something? Make a difficult choice? Yeah, he, he, like... he gets a job and he has, falls in love, and then he realizes. I can't be a, a, an adult. <laughs> I'm a kid. Okay, well... And he wishes himself back. I guess. With, but then why even have a villain? I guess. Why yeah. even make it a... If that's what it's about, then... No, I mean, there, there, there has to be a villain, right? obviously, but yeah. I just don't think the villain is going to play a bigger role in this, maybe. We don't know. But from what I've seen, I like. I mean, yeah, it looks fun. I just want to know what the... Story is like. Tell me what the story is. I know, I know. What's the plot? But well, we'll see it. We'll see the Thank you. plot and the story in the, in the trailer. Nice. In the movie when we go see it. Yeah, but yes, we will. But the, we did the trailer it. work for you? Did like are you besides the plot stuff? And I kind of agree. It doesn't. It's not very plot driven. Yeah, I, either one of the trailers. But from what I see, I like. I like yeah, I mean, Zachary Levy. We get to see him in action, which yeah. is good. Um, We're seeing a lot of the humor, but, which is. Which they're saying, like, no dark and brooding stuff. I, I yeah. did joke in the first trailer, like, it's not going to yeah. be dark. Relax. Yeah, so totally, that'll, that'll be fun yeah. to see. So, um, April 5th, so we're probably not going to get another trailer no. at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. I think we're March already. No, I think, what, what, what else do you really need to see at this point? Plot. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, but, well. but for me, it's like, that's enough. Okay. I, I, I have a good sense of where it could go, so for me, it's just not a matter of, I kind of know what the plot might be, so mm -hmm. okay. Well, enough of the visuals is enough for me. But yeah, I'm still gonna see it. Yeah, me too. Uh, so what do you guys think? Are you excited about Shazam two? Curious why it took so long to have trailer number two come out, or you don't care? You're just excited to see Shazam. Um, what are your thoughts? Leave the comments below. Also, like, subscribe, do all those great things. Make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when we do our next review. And we'll also do a review on Shazam when it does come out next month. Mm -hmm. um, but until next time, I'm Sean. I'm Alex. Shazam! <laughs>